Hi, we're going to talk a little bit about chronograph watches. Of course, a chronograph is a separate timing device uh, on, a, on a watch, and you can use it to time running or cooking or uh, you know, waiting for the bus, whatever you want to do. But let's take a look at our apocalypse chronograph timepiece right here. Okay. Now, our, we're going to specifically talk about our Ronda StarTech movements. And many of our chronograph uh, timepieces, we do use the Swiss Ronda StarTech movements, which are some of the finest quartz chronograph movements in the world. This one has the 5040D. So let's take a look as we come in. And you'll notice that the stop center second hand, the big red sweep second hand, is not directly at the 12 o'clock position. Okay? And we want to talk about recalibration of Swiss Ronda StarTech movements. First off, to activate the chronograph, you want to use your top pusher. So let's go ahead and st activate the chronograph. And there it goes. The first thing you might notice is down there at the 6 o'clock position, you see the tenth of a second indicator flying around. This movement, the 5040D, actually has a tenth of a second indication. Let's go ahead and stop the chronograph. We just timed roughly 12 seconds, or 11.3. And then we're going to reset it with the bottom pusher over here, and this is where you'll notice that it doesn't reset exactly over here to the 12 o'clock position straight up. A lot of times people will call us up and say, my watch is defective. What's wrong with my watch? There's nothing defective. As a matter of fact, when you're dealing with very high-end uh, Swiss chronograph movements, this is quite common that they come out of the box like this. So you're going to have to recalibrate that yourself. So to do that, the first thing you're going to want to do is by the crown, you're going to want to pull the crown out to the third position, like that. You see the little gap there? This is the outermost position. Then you actually have to hold in the top pusher and the bottom pusher at the same time. Simultaneously, push them in and hold it for about two to three seconds. And you'll notice the center sweep second hand makes a full rotation. Did you see that? That means that you are now in the corrective mode. Once you're in the corrective mode, you're going to want to use your top pusher to recalibrate that center sweep second hand. And you can do it one click at a time until it's at the 12 straight up, like that. And then you can push your crown back in. And now we're recalibrated, and let's give it a test. Let's take a look. How did we do? We're going to activate the chronograph with the top pusher. There's your tenth of a second hand flying around. And you see the red sweep center second hand timing. 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now let's go ahead and let's stop it. There we go. Roughly, what is that, 13.8 maybe? Okay. And now we're going to reset it with the bottom pusher. And there we go. Bang, straight up. So, as you can see, there was nothing defective about the watch. And that's how you would recalibrate any of the Ronda StarTech movements. We hope this helps.